All right. Winner semifinals. We got <clears throat> Dr. B versus Goose Fancy. Now, Goose Fancy was playing extremely safe against uh, Flower Dog last game, and he was he was going no nonsense. So maybe we'll see something similar against uh, Dr. B. Oh no, his Squirtle is not doing too well against Dr. B right now. He's just keeping him on the side of the stage. He can fi okay. He's finally back towards the center, and he's Im <laughs> immediately. Uh, why do I even co try and commentate sometimes? Uh, the Ivy Sword Switch is definitely going to help out a lot. The uh, Razor Leaf is going to help him out in neutral, and I think he's going to be able to keep uh, one side of the stage to himself a lot better than last time. <laughs> yeah, way better. He's back off stage, unfortunately. Three up airs. Nice switch to get out of the combo. Uh oh, there's the forward smash. Charizard, what are you gonna do? He's gonna. He's just gonna get back on? Okay. Ooh, nice parry from Dr. B there. He's just. Dr. B has been throwing out a lot of up air juggles. This is kind of impressive. <laughs> nice footstool into forward smash. Is this gonna be a three stock from Dr. B against Goose Fancy? This might be a three stock from Goose Fancy. I let's see if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> My bad, forgot to switch those back. But I do believe I've heard Goose Fancy. Oh, does not get the flare blitz for the kill, and that is going to be a three stock game from Doctor B. That is the first round of semifinals. All right. Just a very clean sweep from Dr. B right there. Maybe we'll see a switch up. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Goose Fancy does have Pichu? No, Lucina. Lucina is the secondary, I believe. Round two on in Smashville. You know what? I miss I miss Anchor T. I miss having my commentator buddy. Hopefully he'll come back soon though. <clears throat> no switch up. Going to a very neutral stage again. Okay. I was just about to say that uh, Goose Fancy might have had a bit of a better start off than last game. And that's an SD. That was unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry to see that happen to you, Goose Fancy. That was just, that was, that's not right. Nice air dodge from Dr. B. Avoiding the uh, Vine Whip, I believe. Yeah, the Vine Whip. I don't understand why he's not playing Ivysaur more. His Squirtle just cannot get in against Dr. B. Ivy is <laughs> way better in this matchup, in my humble opinion. Uh-oh, Goose is up on the platform. It's not where he wants to be. He wants to have a nice neutral <laughs> spot against Dr. B that he can hold for himself. But Dr. B is just rushing him down. Another forward air. Yeah, Dr. B is playing extremely aggressive against Goose Fancy, and I think he... He's being so aggressive because of how scared that uh, Goose is right now. Are we going to see a dunk? Oh, we saw a dunk there. <laughs> Let's go, Goose. Let's go, Goose. But he's pulling out the Squirtle again. I don't know what he sees in Squirtle. It's not been doing him any justice these last two games. He needs to stick with Ivy. Nice parry. He's gonna back away. He's uh He's getting a better feel for the matchup at least, especially as Ivysaur. <clears throat> Pardon me, I really need to get a water. He keeps running into the up B from Dr. B as he's recovering, and he can't get any nice uh, edge guarding going on. 
these nares out of shield though, they have been on point. And there's the back air for game two. Yeah, Goose Fancy's just getting completely shut out this set. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have heard Goose Fancy uh, say that Dr. B is probably his biggest struggle. Goose is goaded, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, round three. This is this going to be a 3 0 game? Set. Uh, but he's not going to switch off of uh, Pokemon Trainer. He is bound and determined to win at least one, <laughs> one of these games. Got to respect his uh, his loyalty to the character and his loyalty to the matchup. He wants to beat Doctor B. He wants to take a he wants to take at least one game against Doctor B. Okay, that was a weird interaction. That sh <laughs> that withdraw and the forward smash just sort of hit each other, but there was a little bit of ending lag for the Squirtle, so he sort of got launched late. Ooh, nice. Okay, I was gonna say nice nice kill from Doctor B. Still a kill. Um, it was a nice uh, back air right off of edge, and uh, it didn't quite actually kill, but he, uh, Goose Fancy wasn't able to recover, obviously. I think he, uh, okay. Tried to get some jab resets into combos, but it didn't work out for him. This might have been what he was going for for these last couple uh, neutral rounds. Rushing down Dr. B, get, setting up some combos, and then jab resetting him right into more combos. Pretty standard Pokemon trainer gameplay. Combo, then switch into Ivysaur and close out a stock. But it's just not working for him. Goose Fancy cannot get in against Dr. B. He's taken a grand total of one stock this whole set. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Oh, there's the Flare Blitz from Edge. Ugh. And there's the forward smash from the opposite side of the stage. Well, to be fair, Squirtle is pretty light. <laughs> Goose Fancy doing his best against Dr. B just isn't enough. To be fair, Dr. B is the best player in this <laughs> uh, region. He's been number one consistently for quite some time now. Goose Fancy, not Goose Fancy, Dr. B is probably going to be the best play player for quite some time. It's a toss-up between him and Yez, for sure. And ironically, they both play Fire Emblem characters. Ooh, nice up air from Goose Fancy. Not going to close it out with a um, Vine Whip, unfortunately. But, uh, are we going to see it this time, though? Nope. Dr. B, fast fall, failing the recovery. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Why did he do that? He did a me. He did what I do. He jumped into it. That was a... Oh, no. Goose Nancy jumping into the charged forward smash. And that is a 3-0 game from Dr. B. And we'll be going into grand finals. Good games all around, guys.